Hi, it's Emma, uh, back with another WJC chemistry video. And today I'm doing a year 11 topic again, um, acids and bases. So this video specifically is gonna be something called, well, on something called neutralization. So be careful not to spell neutralization with a Z. Um, and I think it's an American thing to put with a Z. So it's neutral eyes and that eyes, that, that Z sound, but that's an S if you're going to spell it. I'm just pointing that out because I do feel the odd word in science exams now for WJC in Wales, they are being picky about how you're spelling them, but it's not the be all and end all. If you can't spell, you know, if you struggle to spell, do not let that put you off doing your science exams you will be fine also but sometimes they might not give you the mark if you don't spell the odd word correctly unless it's the six mark question at the end and they're a bit more picky then so i've already introduced the term acids and bases and basically neutralization is when an acid mixes with a base and they neutralize each other and by the end of the reaction, the chemical reaction, because neutralization is a chemical reaction, at the end, you get a neutral substance. So you start off with an acid and a base, you mix them together, a chemical reaction will happen called neutralization, and they will neutralize each other. So they meet in the middle and they are then a pH of seven because seven is uh, the pH of neutral things like water. Now there's a formula you've got to remember. Acids, I bet you I can't fit this up, plus base always gives you a salt plus water. Okay, as usual I can't fit it in, not very professional looking. So acid plus base always makes, so we don't put an equals in science, in chemistry, we put an arrow, always makes a salt plus water. Now you've all already heard of salt. Salt, you put it on your chips. That is the one we put on our chips or, you know, in your food, that's one type of salt, sodium chloride. But you can, there's actually loads of different types of salt. Um, I'm gonna do a video next to show you how to name the salts. But this video, I just want you to understand. So if you mix an acid, acids have a pH of below seven. So I'm going to put that below seven. And if you mix it with a base, bases have a pH of above seven. Um, I always feel like I'm not doing my sevens the right way around. You mix an acid and a base, a chemical reaction happens called neutralization, and they will make water. Now acids, they um, <clears throat> all acids have H plus, I've made that look like a star, H plus ions in them. Um, if, if you look on the back of your periodic table, you'll see H plus, it's a hydrogen ion. And we know it's an ion because it's got a charge on it. So acids have um, H plus ions in them. Bases have OH minus ions in them. And we call those hydroxides. Again, if you looked on the back of your periodic table, you would see OH- as a hydroxide. So we've got hydrogen ions in the acids and we've got hydroxide ions in the bases. So it's more higher, this question now. I'm just trying to let you see, look, you've got HOH, okay? So the hydrogen ions have a positive charge. The hydroxide ions have a negative charge. They're attracted to each other, but look, if I was to mix H plus plus OH, what am I gonna make? H2O. Because in, in, in life, you can't make, things don't just poof out of air. You've got, whatever you end up with is the things you started off with. I had a H at the start, an O at the start, and a H at the start. So two H's and an O at the start. Yes, they're in different ways. I add them in a the form of a H plus ion and a, a hydroxide ion. But when you mix them together during the chemical reaction, they form H2O. So acid plus base, you get it always makes the salt and you've got the water there. So it'll just look like a water really at the end, um, unless it's got a colour in it. Uh, um, I think I'm just going to leave this video here 
because I'm going to name the salts in a separate video. So you just need to be aware that acids and bases, when we mix them together, um, they neutralise each other in a chemical reaction. We call this neutralisation. And an acid and base always makes a salt plus water. I will leave a link once I've made the video on naming salts in this video so you can go to that video specifically if you're not sure how to name salts yet. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.